You're very welcome in this space. Danae von Sheka is uh, Juan de la uh, Kierva, postdoctoral research fellow and a member of the Ad Hoc Research Center on Theory, Gender, Sexuality from the University of Barcelona. And she's part of the research group Arab Ideologies and Cultural Expressions at the Universidad Autonoma de Madrid and was a postdoctoral research at the Palestinian Museum in Birzeit. Uh, and she also has a degree in international relations from uh, Mexico and a master in contemporary Arab and Islamic studies, as well as a PhD from uh, Madrid as well. Also, a great pleasure to have you, and I'm very much looking forward to, um, to hear more from you. The presentation is titled The Palestinian Nation as a Woman in Visual Arts. So that had my attention. Please go ahead. Thank you. So first of all, uh, I want to thank you, all of you, for being here. And uh, I will try to keep it um, as easy as possible because I know we are all tired and we have the great opportunity of being here for five intense days. So um, I want to start um, by telling a short story. <laughs> yeah. OK, so um, to place you, um, we are in 1979 in Ramallah, in the, the first uh, actual uh, art gallery that was uh, built there. Uh, it was uh, founded by uh, artists uh, Suleiman Mansour, Nabil Anani, and Ifan Bader. So they created this, um, oh, I think I have, yeah, there's the gallery. Gall it's called uh, Gallery 79. And uh, shortly after it was open, uh, Mr. Suleiman Mansour, he did a great exhibit showing the landscapes of Palestine and um, all these beautiful paintings that he has. And at four hours after opening the exhibit, the Israeli army arrived and confiscated the keys of the gallery and took all the artists to being questioned in the, you know, the police military uh, headquarters. And um, they were explaining to them when they arrived that, uh, you know, you shouldn't be using um, green next to uh, white, next to red, next to, <laughs> to black. So Mr. Sambader here said, then how are we supposed to paint watermelons? Oh. <laughs> um, so this, this uh, short story is just to make you think about uh, the power of using symbolic and metaphorical uh, elements uh, when doing art. Like uh, this um, 101 military law, that is the one that they were breaking, and this is why they were taken. It's a law that forbids any political material to be printed. And under this law, uh, works of art are considered printed material so they are not also allowed to use the Palestinian flag. Um, but uh, these artists manage to do uh, so wonderful works of art, and not only, uh, like it might for some of the European people may sound a little weird that it was 1979 and it was the first gallery, but it was like that because there's not artistic institutions. Right now we have the Palestinian Museum, but it's really new. So, but the most amazing thing of this is that these artists, they managed to print their works of art and distribute them through refugee camps all around uh, Palestine and uh, also like postcards. So their art was uh, available for everyone. They were having art exhibits in schools, in public spaces, like as much as they could because, you know, they were under occupation they, in, this, uh, in this moment. So I'm just going to skip the theoretical part. But what I'm going to talk about, it's, um, as you might know, like, uh, like I said before, when we talk about metaphor and allegory, this is important because metaphors are the way we understand the world. And this creates 
uh, how we understand concepts and things in our daily lives. So the metaphor of the nation as a, as a woman, it's actually very common. Uh, as you can see here, not only the nation or these kind of concepts, here we have the Orient uh, in this first one. And uh, this is uh, Mother India. It's even called like that, you know, Mother India. And this is like the Mexican representation of the, of the homeland. And we also have like even United States uh, has this, this uh, kind of allegory. If you're interested, we're also, we can discuss later uh, about um, the distinctions between these kind of, uh, of concepts. But right now, for, like, this is the important thing. So, but there is a common uh, way of understanding uh, nations, mostly as, a, as in a female form, in a woman representation, um, like this. And um, Palestine is also, oh, sorry. Palestine is also represented in this form. Uh, of course, um, why I study the Palestinian case in particular is because I find that there are some uh, particularities to the case. Uh, I also forgot to say that um, what I'm presenting here, it's part of the research I did for my PhD, which um, if I don't know if we have Spanish speakers in the room, I don't think so. But it's, uh, it's called uh, Matria Palestina Arte y Género en la Construcción de una Nación Sin Límites, which could be mm -hmm. traduced if we have French people. Uh, la Matrie Palestinienne, Art de Genre dans la Construcción de una Nación Sin Limite, and uh, the Palestinian Motherland, Art and Gender in the Construction of a Boundless Nation. And uh, in Arabic, Al Watan Al Umal Palestini. Alfan Walgender, Fibina, here I will be happy to discuss with Arabic speaking people if we should use Daula uh, or Umma or Bidun Hudud. Okay? Um, so there are different um, depictions of this uh, representation. Oh, sorry, I missed uh, the time. Uh, Okay, um, different representations of this uh, personification of the land. I also didn't speak about the concept of personification, but sum up, like allegories also create personification of things and concepts, and one of these is the nation. And in this case, um, there's one common depiction that shows up a lot in these works of art. I, I also forgot to say that I'm showing works of art between the 70s and the 80s. Um, so this is uh, an artwork called Memories of the Harvest of Abdul Rahman al-Nusayn from 1977. As you can see, this is like a poster, uh, like I was mentioning before. And there's a lot of things to see here. Um, I just want you to, to focus on um, how we can see the Palestinian dress and all the symbols behind and in this, um, Sorry, this is uh, an embodiment of the of the land um, in itself. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. I need to go back to my paper. Uh, and um, yes, You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, so as you know, uh, uh, the image of peasantry it's very important. Uh, especially for Palestinians in diaspora that uh, have these uh, images of this uh, Palestine that it's uh, remembered and it's told over and over by the relatives about how um, they live in their, in their, in their land. And even it's, it has been studied for some scholars also, like how this uh, image has been even romanticized. And uh, it's also related to the Palestinian Sumut. So, um, uh, here in Memories of the Harvest, we can see also the embroidery patterns that I don't have time to <coughs> go on here, but it's like really important the way the dress tells us things about uh, memory, about history, about even, uh, even places. Dresses are a way of mapping the map of, of, of Palestine. Um, also wheat on the back, and I'm gonna continue to a different depiction. Uh, this is a uh, nation as a woman. 
Uh, this is a work of art by Mr. Sliman Mansour, which I'm a big fan of. <laughs> and uh, I also invite you to look at the exhibit downstairs and tell me if you find something that reminds you of this, <coughs> because he has someone that worked with him in the exhibit uh, downstairs. Um, so this is called The Village Awakens, and here like, there are so many things we can say. Ah, this is the first version, and this is the, the poster version. Like He has two, but the same idea in general. So you can see here how Palestine is depicted as a woman. It's obviously, she is in the middle of the artwork, <coughs> and she's quiet, and she's literally giving birth to the sons of the nation. <laughs> and um, it's very interesting how the sons of the nation came out of here, they already grown up and dressed up <laughs> in traditional, <laughs> in tra no, but in traditional uh, Palestinian attires. And look, they are holding, what it is that they are holding here, these tools that are not random tools. Um, we have the cactus, which is traditional. The, wh whoever was in uh, Gassan's yesterday presentation, he talked about this kind of Canaanian basis that reminds us also of the origins of the land, we have the oranges, we have uh, the, the landscape, we have a lot of things that um, here like women have like a main central role of reproducing the nation and particularly here like it's really the embodiment of the, of the land of the nation. Um, here um, I'm going to go to this uh, particular painting, this is uh, from uh, Tamam al-Akal from 1980. And um, I want to talk here about the role of women as reproducers of the nation as we saw in the artwork before, like actual like physical reproducers. But here I want to talk about women as reprodu reproducers sorry, of culture. Uh, of culture. It's the mother that transmits history, traditions to these new generations, and it's particularly important in the Palestinian context because it's, it's related to identity and to memory. And um, this is a really good example of how women embody tradition in not only in their selves, also in their activities. And um, they all have like, again, traditional embroidery dress and uh, the white veil over their heads, they are sitting on the ground next to the hand mill uh, that you can see here, which must have a cloth underneath where the ground, the ground grain falls. And um, they are also very, this activity, for example, is also important in the Palestinian culture, like in the folklore, no, I don't like to use the word folklore, like the, in the stories that are told um, by women, for example, there is, a uh, very famous Palestinian story about two blind women in which a ghoul woman is presented as a, to a peasant woman who spends all day grinding wheat. And uh, the story, well, I don't have time to tell the story, but like it's, uh, it's very important uh, in all these traditions. And I just wanted to show you a picture that remind me a lot, like it's not proven or anything that it's connected. I just like found this picture of 1900s from this book that remind me a lot of this. Mm -hmm. So just you can see uh, um, the resemblance. And then here we have uh, The Mother of the Fighters by Mustafa Al-Haraj. Here also it's a different approach of the representation of the mother. Uh, as you can see here, like she's like, just for proportions, she's like huge and she's protecting her children that are, I can say these are girls maybe, <laughs> and, uh, and a boy in the middle. And look what we have here. So I will let you interpret uh, this uh, piece of work of art as you, as you like. But uh, yes, it could be, yeah, I'm gonna leave you. Inter to <laughs> the, let the work speak for itself. And um, this is a very interesting uh, piece of art. It's called The Role of Woman in the Intifada and in Taking Care of the Family by Abdul Hay Musalan Sarara from 1991. Okay, went a little bit after the 80s, sorry. Um, and as you can see here, like women are in the front of the, of the artwork, which is 
the role of women in the Intifada, which is on the front. And uh, I want to call your attention to this, um, these things that they are holding in their hands. Uh, can, if you can guess, they're not stones, they are lemons. Mm -hmm. And this could be also a way of interpreting, interpreting the importance of women during the Intifada and the boycott that they were leading at uh, that moment and that they were very important in in this, uh, in the, they had a role in this boycott and uh, uh, having only like products from inside and uh, like, you know, they are throwing lemons at, at them. And, um, and here, another the different depiction of the mother, it's uh, the mother of, of the martyr. Um, uh, here, my Palestinian friends know what I'm talking about. For people visiting Palestine for the first time, you might have seen some signs on our way to the university with people who are holding guns or like, uh, these are martyrs. <laughs> so martyrs are very important uh, into, the, into the Palestinian context. And this is, uh, this is clay, actually. It's not a good picture, but it, like, it's a sculpture from uh, Vera Tamari, and uh, it's called The Mother of the Martyr. And as you can see here, it's uh, the mothers that are um, holding the portrait of the martyr, which was probably the portrait it's supposed to, to go here. And um, just to finish on time, I will talk about uh, women as the landscape. This is um, a work of art by Fatih Gavin, uh, a particular artist from Gaza that I really like. Um, and he, here you can see how women are exactly like they are the landscape here. Like there's no even metaphor here. She is the landscape. And uh, we can see how she's mixed um, with, the, with the background. And uh, we can see the, now I'm sure you are familiar with this kind of stones and everything we have seen here. 